Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a spring themed pen pal letter. I'm actually going to be making two letters today and these will be going to the winners for the spring um, letter swap that I did. It was the community challenge that I, I think I announced in a couple of videos back. Now I've just shown you what supplies I'll be using and I've also actually got a new tool that I'm in love with. It's actually an envelope making tool. So I got it for Spotlight. I don't know how much it was. I think it was around $30, but it was really, really awesome. I've been wanting to get one of these envelope making tools for a while now, so I'm really loving it. And I'll be creating my little spring swap within this. It's like a little cardboard. I think it was just a card, to be honest with you. It was just a spring card from Daiso. So it flips out. And then I've also got a card from Typo that I got ages ago. And I'm also going to be putting my handmade envelope in here as well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be designing on this flip out large card on the blue side. And then on the front, it's got this really pretty pattern. It's actually spring themed, which I thought matched this project perfectly. So I'm going to be designing on the inside of this and then I can fold it all back up and send it off in a large letter. So I actually wanted to let you guys know that at the end of this video, I will have all your entries, so if you wait till the end of the video, I will have everyone's um, photos of their spring swap, and I'll be announcing the winner at the very, very end after all the pictures have been shown. So it took me a really long time to make this video just because I had to make sure I got all the entries before April the 20th. And then I had to download all the photos and then upload them and then make sure I edit them so they actually all fit on the screen. Just because every single photo I felt like was a different size. I just wanted to comment on the actual swap that I'm making right now. So the Easter Bunny stickers I got from a... It was like a discount store so it was like a dollar store near my house and the dollar stores I don't know if you have any around your um, town or city but dollar stores actually have really good craft areas and I always like anytime I see a dollar store I always like going down the craft aisle because you can find some really unique things there and sometimes the craft stores like the dollar stores usually have some seasonal crafts so Anytime you go past the dollar store, I'd really recommend you check out the craft section. As you can see, I'm also decorating the envelope that I created. And because the envelope um, actually has a pattern on it already, it was actually really hard to think of ways to decorate. So I'm actually using some washi tapes and some of those um, bunny stickers as well. And yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to cover it enough so it's not too patterny because I'm just trying to get around that there's already a pattern on there. So I actually cover up a lot of the pattern on the envelope. And this specific envelope that I'm designing, I actually design in my um, packs that I'm making for Etsy. So I've actually had a few of you ask me how I can buy little Etsy packs off me and they aren't finished yet. I'm, I'm in the middle of making them. So if you are looking out for Etsy packs, they're not up anywhere. That's why I haven't put links anywhere for them yet. But I will announce that and I'll put links on my Instagram as well as on YouTube and I will announce it officially once they're all done. It's just taking a long time because I'm hand making everything. And if you want any more information of that, I think I spoke about that in my last video can hear all about those um, Etsy packs later but I did already make a little mystery package ages ago so I've I've got them up on my um, they're in my Instagram stories in my highlight sections you know those little circles you see at the top of Instagram and it's I've just called it Etsy so you can check out them there if you want to see what I used to sell on Etsy as well so as you can see I'm still just designing this envelope here I thought I wanted to design um, an envelope for them so they can send this off to their pen pal or they can put goodies in there and put it into a larger envelope to so be honest a lot of my really pretty envelopes I usually put inside a larger one so they don't get ruined in the mail I usually don't send anything that's really pretty on the outside in the mail I usually put something in a bigger envelope if I'm gonna send anything um, especially if they're quite thin and fragile actually have two 
to spring nails I'm making today so I will be making the next one in this video as well so that's why this video is a little bit longer today and also because I've got all the entries at the back but at the moment I'm just creating some little goodies so I'm creating a little goodie pack for my first winner and I've got all this beautiful washi tape from Simply Gilded and I put a link to that in my last video and also my um, annual stationery haul video as well. And I've also got Muji um, washi tape as well. So this is the Simply Gilded and the Muji washi tape. And the Muji's the dark blue one. And the Simply Gilded is that beautiful pink and rose golds. So I'm just wrapping up a few goodies to go in this little um, letter to send off to the winner. Now the winner of the spring pen pal swap, I was going to pick the best pen pal, I mean sorry, the best letter, but to be honest with you they were all so gorgeous and beautiful so I couldn't actually choose. So I chose them at random. I just wanted to let you guys know that so you didn't feel disappointed if you didn't if you're not the winner at the end. So I did select a winner at random. Um, I put them all into a little hat. I picked one out and you'll be able to see who the winner is right at the end. So that's the first pen pal package done that I'm going to be sending off. And as you can see, the next one, I'm actually using some fabric. And again, this fabric is from Spotlight. And actually the cutter, I got this new as well. It's from Spotlight 2. So I got the fabric, the cutter and the envelope tool, the envelope making tool from Spotlight 2. So I got a lot of really good things from Spotlight recently. Um, and I've never actually, I've only really, I've only just learned how to use this envelope making tool. So I didn't know if I could use it at all with fabric. And as you can see, I, I messed it up a few times just because I'm still trying to figure out the measurements. But I end up doing it and instead of, because usually you just make a groove in the paper, but because this is fabric I needed to draw a pencil line um, and I just rub out any pencil line that I make mistakes later. So it wasn't too bad, but this is the first time trying it with fabric. So I actually tried to bind it all together with a bit of double sided tape. And to be honest with you, if you have a little sewing machine, um, it would be best just to sew it up. But I, and to be honest, I could have just hand sewn it with a little bit of twine or something, but I didn't have a lot of time just because these videos, they do take a lot of time to make and it would have just been like another hour just trying to sew it back up. So I just did some double sided tape and it wasn't too bad. It will hold together for the little decoration that I'm making because I'm not sending it as a letter. It's actually glued on some cardboard later. So it will hold for that reason, but I wouldn't probably recommend using double-sided tape because it did feel like it would just pull apart really easily. But yeah, I actually am creating a cloth or fabric, whatever you want to call it, envelope, and I'm sticking it on the back of this uh, cardboard. And then on the other side, I'm also creating a letter as well like a letter looking design sorry an envelope looking design on the back as well sorry <laughs> I'm not used to doing really long voiceovers um, so this next one I'm actually using Jordan Clark stickers and this was her printable stickers and I actually just went down to Officeworks and I just printed a whole bunch of them I had to resize resize them all to put them on an A4 piece of paper and then I had a whole bunch of sticky I'm sorry sticker sticker sheet sticker sticker paper and I just resized them all so I could print out two at a time and now I'm just trying to figure out how to design on the front of this cardboard so it looks like a little envelope but I really love Jordan Clark's designs and her printable stickers aren't too expensive if you want to go grab them. They're quite reasonable and you can resize them like I did and print them on um, sticker paper. And the sticker paper I think cost me $2.50 from another dollar store. So I love like variety dollar stores. They're really great. You never know what's going to be inside, especially the craft and art section. I get a lot from there and um, you can find some really good things that seem high quality that are in the, the dollar stores around your area. And all of the dollar stores around my area are always called something different. Some are called variety stores, some are just called like discount shops. Um, so always have a look around because they usually have a craft section. And now I'm just putting in the fabric side of it, I'm just putting things in there like a little pocket. So I'm just putting a whole bunch of goodies that I thought would match the style and the aesthetic of this little package. 
and I, I reuse a lot of your gifts that you give me so anyone who does send me something in the mail I like to reuse all my subscriber mails gifts and if they suit the aesthetic that I'm going for I like to re re-gift some of them but usually I, I keep a lot of the stuff you guys give me for my journal um, but if they really match the the theme that I'm going for, I like to sometimes re-gift some things. I'm also giving some washi tape samples from this. These washi tapes are actually from Sticky Kit. I absolutely love Sticky Kit. I gave a really mini review in one of my previous videos. But I would highly recommend you guys check out Sticky Kit because the washi tape that they give are really high quality tapes. And they're just beautiful designs. Like I haven't seen these designs anywhere. So you know that... They've been curated very well. And yeah, I think this is the end of my um, little packages. So the first one was that pocket fold-out card thing from Daiso. And this one I've just created with fabric, some cardboard and some pretty paper. And then I've just used it and decorated the front to make it look like a little envelope. I hope that makes sense. I think I was going off on track, like going off track a little bit there in the middle there on my voiceover, but I hope everything made sense today. And the last thing I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to tie it up nicely with some twine and I've just decorated a large envelope. And I think this envelope was just a Kmart envelope. It's just a real basic, um, like dollar one, I think. And I'm just doing some mail art design on it. Actually, this this was actually the envelope that the big Daiso card came from, sorry, because um, it's a craft one. So I'm just designing on top and my designs, I never know what I do with them. Like, honestly, I never know what they're going to turn out like because I just get a whole bunch of washi tapes and paper and I just try to make it all match together. <laughs> I don't know how... I end up doing it but I like to just rip things and paste things and it's all very collagey my type like my style so it's just a beautiful eclectic <laughs> mail art this one here um, and again I've used some of Jordan Clark's stickers you should go check it out on YouTube if you don't already follow Jordan Clark she's really um, she's just a beautiful aesthetic if you like watching that but again I tried to make it a bit spring themed but I think it's just very pretty pretty <laughs> to be honest with you. I left a little gap in the middle for the to's and from's and the address um, because I will be sending this envelope in the mail. This will be the outside envelope and I'll put one of the, the packages inside of this one today. So I think that's everything. Um, just to give you a little rundown of it again, I've got the envelope that I made as well as the Daiso um, envelope that was a hard cardboard cover and then I'm just packing everything together so I'm actually giving a bit of that fabric away because I thought it was really pretty it's got hedgehogs and bunnies on it I think um, and I really really liked it so that's just me packaging it up and then after this you'll see all the entries and then the winner at the end so I'll let some music play over the end bit thank you so much for watching my video today and I'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>